Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel in all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was raging. So he would again put a veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. 
when he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. May the brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magadang tanghali po sa atin lahat. Before this COVID pandemic, ang isa sa mga leisure natin madalas ay ang gumala sa mall. Gumala sa mall para mag-window shopping, para magpahinga, para makakita lang ng kung ano-ano na maaliw tayo. No? Pero ang isa sa namiss kong puntahan, personally, ay magpunta sa Divisoria. At pag nagpunta tayo sa Divisoria, especially nung nandun pa yung tutuban, no? paglapit mo sa mga stores, no? anong tatanungin sa'yo? Anong hanap niyo? No? Anong hanap niyo? No? Sabi ng isa kong kasama before, no? sa medyo naiinis na siya kasi di ko ba alam kung anong hinahanap ko eh. Pwede mong sagutin, no? World peace ang hinahanap ko. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang, mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, minsan, pag naggagala-gala tayo, and we look, we, 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 we look or we find, actually, we don't know what we are looking for. Is it not? Madalas, Basta may makita lang tayo, naaaliw lang tayo. Pero actually, wala tayong hinahanap. O meron nga ba tayong hinahanap? This is a challenge for us. And the same goes with what is Jesus is telling us in the Gospel reading today. He again likens a king, the kingdom of God to a particular situation. And what is this? Four steps. First, searching. And when you search, you find something. May hinahanap tayo sa buhay, di ba? Ang tanong, alam ba natin kung anong hinahanap natin? Madalas hindi. Dahil hindi ba natin alam kung ano ang magpapasaya talaga sa atin. But the challenge is always there, no? To find, to search, to look for. And when you find something, ano ang una natin ginagawa? Kinukuha ba agad natin ito? Kapag tayo ay naggala at bumili, ano ang una natin ginagawa? Kini, kilatis muna. Ina-appraise, no? eto pa talaga matibay ba to is this worth it and upon you know checking the value yung appraisal niya para sa atin no we exchange it with our money no and after exchanging it no ultimately it makes us what? Happy. Hopefully. Jesus likens the kingdom of God kaparehong kapareho sa kung paano tayo maghanap ng binibili natin sa palengke. Kung paano tayo mamili ng ating kukunin sa divisoria. Pero it is not that simple because there is this process always of searching, finding, and then after finding it, discerning it. No? You weigh out. And what do we use when we weigh out? What do we use for a, when we appraise things? We use our values. We use our principles. We use those which we hold dear. 
Look. Ating cultural upbringing, ating mga prejudice. And hopefully, it is what? Kawangis noong pinupursigi rin ng Diyos para sa atin. Kawangis din ang itinuturo ni Kristo sa atin. And this is the kingdom of heaven. What is the kingdom of heaven for you and for me? It depends. No? Ano ang pinapahalagahan mo sa buhay? Ano ang pinaprioritize mo sa buhay? Pamilya, mga mahal sa buhay, trabaho, yaman. The challenge for us is to what? Check. Challenge it. Discern. Way out. No? And this is the tricky part. Because most of us has yet no? to find what we are looking for. Sinong nakakasigurado o nakakaalam sa atin kung ano ang hinahanap natin sa buhay? Sige nga. Pero the bottom line is what? Happiness, is it not? Maging masaya. In the Gospel reading, we've heard Jesus telling how the kingdom of God is. And the binaka bottom line is, after finding it, you hide it again and then exchange it with that which that you have. And then after buying it, it makes you ultimately happy. Ang tanong, ano nga ba ang susi sa kaligayahan sa buhay? Ang iba maligaya sa pera. Yun na ba yun? Ang iba maligaya kapag nakukuha ang gusto. Yun na ba yun? Ang iba maligaya kapag nakakaapak ng ibang tao. Pag nakikita na nararamdaman na mas higit siya sa ibang tao. Yun na ba yun? It is you who will answer that question. Because how we value things, how we look for the kingdom, depends on the very principle that we carry in our lives. Kung ano mga pinapahalagahan natin sa buhay. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, in this Holy Mass, I guess it is opportune for us to ask, anong pinaka-image ng kaharian ng Diyos para sa akin? Kaharian ng langit para sa akin? What is the best image that best capture that which I want to obtain, that which I want to seek and find? And after finding it, ipagpapalit ko lahat. Dahil yun ang, ang, ang makapagpapasaya sa akin. Siguro sa mga walang jowa dito, boyfriend o girlfriend, no? But you, no? You are watching in the live streaming, you are here. Ask yourselves, no? What is the kingdom of heaven for me? Have I, have I determined it already? And if I do, am I looking for it properly? Am I capable of exchanging it with what I have now? And lastly, will it make me truly happy? Amen. Please stand.
Let us see the invitation of God our Father to ask from Him what we wish Him to give us and let it be what is important for us and put high value in it. In every intention we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops may be guided and inspired by the wisdom of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may use the material gifts necessary for our well-being in a proper way and not become victims of greed and selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are searching for the truth may daily come to a deeper appreciation of faith in Jesus Christ as the pearl of great price, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may be blessed in their sacrifices, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rest in eternal peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, source of all that is good in life, help us to use your gifts wisely and to rejoice the treasure of your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will in gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and archangels, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but us, deliver from us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.